From Hollywood, time once again for Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. Thanks for joining us. Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Well, speaking of money, the Trump administration is submitting a $4.1 trillion federal budget to Capitol Hill. The budget intends to raise economic growth from the current anemic 2% range to 3% or more. Now, that's a 50% or better increase in economic growth, and it's going to require that Americans go back to work. Over the last eight years, the number of people on food stamps increased from 32 million to almost 50 million. The Trump budget is very clear. If you're on food stamps and you're able-bodied, the free ride is over and it's time to go back to work. President Trump is going to start with people who actually want to work more, even if they don't have a job. There are 7 million Americans who are unemployed and another 6.8 million who are working part-time because they can't find full-time work. Now, since most of these people would welcome a decent paying job, it's not a long shot to get them back into the workforce. But what about those who'd rather collect entitlement benefits and stay home in their government paid apartments, living off food stamps, talking on their free cell phones, and having no desire to work at all? In some states, welfare benefits can accumulate to where it is equal to having a $30,000 per year job. Trump's budget would address that issue by adding a work requirement to the SNAP program requiring that able-bodied recipients without children to prove they're looking for a job. Compassion is no longer going to be measured by the number of people getting on welfare, but how many people can be helped to get off welfare and regain control of their own lives. Because if you rely on the government for everything, you're not free, you're dependent. Trump's budget recommends more than $3 trillion in entitlement cuts, and the left and the lamestream media are already crying about it. Controlling people by keeping them on welfare is a meal ticket for politicians because it keeps them in power, and that's all they care about. But something has to happen because we're almost $20 trillion in debt, and if we started paying that down at the rate of $1 million per hour, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, it would take 2,300 years to pay it off. You don't believe me? Do the math. The Trump budget is a courageous first step to getting America back on the financial track, but rest assured, the left and the media are going to crucify him for it. Now here's something you don't need any money for. It's our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449 for free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. It is free, as is the phone call, 888-259-4449 from anywhere in the world. Be sure and visit us at MoneyTV.net. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.